driver is using the Gardner Expressway a short one lane today as the next phase of construction gets underway. The city says critical repairs need to be made and that could take three years. I'm sorry, what? You heard that right. The city says critical repairs need to be made to the aging Gardner Expressway, which is about 60 years old and drivers will need to be patient until the work is done in 2027. Oh, no, that actually sucks. <laughs> a sentiment shared by some drivers who were caught in this morning's rush as lane reductions were made between Strawn to Jameson for pre-construction work and will stay put for the next three weeks, while other drivers may have avoided today's congestion. It could be just a matter of time. You're, you're looking for the traffic report? Yeah. Uh, I, I haven't ran into it yet, but I'm sure I will eventually. The repairs will be made Monday to Saturday from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. Crews will replace 700 meters of the elevated bridge surface, rehabilitate the structures underneath that support the elevated expressway, and add a new traffic management system and streetlights. Starting in mid-April, the Gardner Expressway will be reduced to two lanes in each direction between Dufferin Street and Strawn Avenue with the possibility of intermittent additional lane closures. The eastbound on-ramp from Lakeshore Boulevard east of Jamison Avenue will also be closed. This is bound to cause some frustrations for drivers. The city says it's monitoring the situation. If they see situations that can't be mitigated by um, changing the traffic lights, um, they have the ability to recommend to us the possibility of traffic agents. The city says it's also considering using route diversions, traffic agents, and other forms of technology to address congestion around construction zones. The impacts uh, when we do these types of closures are a little bit more significant, uh, probably for about the first week or so, and then things do tend to sort of normalize as people find uh, other alternative ways to kind of navigate around that area. City officials are encouraging drivers to plan their trips ahead of time and in some cases, if it makes sense, consider taking transit. In Toronto, I'm Faisa Min for City News.